Okay, I have a quick but very surprising effect to share with you today. Now, for this effect, you need seven memorable pairs, okay? And it's important that it be seven. Not six, not eight, but seven pairs. And so I've just chose companion pairs to work with. These can be randomly stacked. The spectator can decide these, actually, and watch all of this happen. That's fine. From here, you have to just deal them out into uh, two piles with random stacking decided by the spectator. Maybe they want right on left, their choice. From here, you can actually Charlie shuffle the packet as many times as you would like, or have the spectator just randomly cut the cards. That would be just fine, okay? Now what you need to do is deal out seven cards into one pile. I wasn't counting. <laughs> okay, seven. Okay, and then the spectator now gets to freely choose which pile is flipped face up. Maybe they want this one face up. Okay, so the ace of hearts is essentially our challenge card. Okay, so we'll be looking for its companion, which is the ace of diamonds. Okay, so you take this packet and you just set it on top of the other one. Now you give the spectator the choice to deal out the cards consistently into two piles or consistently into three piles or consistently into four piles. It really is their choice. So let's say they say two piles. So what that means then is you deal out the cards into two piles and we are keeping the last odd size pile that was dealt. Well, both of these have seven. This was the last one that was dealt, so you discard the others. Pick up the cards, deal again. We're going to keep the last odd size pile that was dealt. Well, clearly it's this one here, because this has four, which is not odd. And then you deal one more time. One, two, three. Keep the last odd size pile. Well, there's only one, okay? And this is guaranteed to be the companion card to our challenge card, okay? This will work for consistently dealing out into three piles. Just keep the odd size pile, discard the others. It will even work for dealing out into four piles consistently. The only difference there is at the very end for four pile dealings, at the very end you'll only have three cards. So you actually won't be able to deal out into a fourth pile. Well, can you guess where their special card or their matching mate might be here? Well, it's really where you would hope it would be. It's gonna be right in the middle, okay? So just watch out for that little twist to dealing out consistently into four piles and this will work for you every time. So the spectator can choose two, three, or four piles to be consistently dealt out for the whole routine, and you are guaranteed to find the matching mate to the challenge card. Okay, so I thought I'd share this with you and encourage you to take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.